everyone, my name is Bridget and welcome to my channel. For today's video, I'm on my floor right now and that's because I'm introducing you guys to an animal today that actually likes to jump around a lot and I don't want to lose him. So I'm down here a little bit closer to the ground so that if he does, I should say when he does jump, it's not so um, far for him and it's not difficult to catch him. Now, I know that there are so many of these meet my new this, meet my new that kind of videos out there and that is what this is, but this is a little bit more special to me at least because this particular animal is a rescue. Now I'm sure you guys have heard of Alex from Go Herping as well as Ethan from Amazing Animal Adventures. If you haven't heard of those guys, I don't know where you've been, you definitely need to check them out. But if you have heard of those guys, you will know that they have created their own rescue company where they take in reptiles and amphibians from various sources and they bring them back up to health and then they rehome them. And this company is known as Emerald Scales. So as soon as they came out with that company, I started following a lot of their posts and seeing what kind of animals come in and out just to see if anything sparked an interest for me personally. And they just so happened to get a couple of crested geckos. Now crested geckos are very common in the reptile keeping world, but I have never had one and I've been looking into them for so long and Emerald Scales decided to post two crested geckos on their website. These crested geckos were very special. They both had metabolic bone disease. So one of their unique characteristics was a crooked spine. And one of those crested geckos in particular really spoke to me and I felt the need to call him my own. I had to have him. Now everything about him seems okay. He's eating fine. He's living his life fine. This crooked spine does absolutely nothing to hinder his life. And it just worked out where I I wanted a crested gecko. I love rescuing animals, so I was able to do both at the exact same time. So now I'm gonna go ahead and stop rambling about him and I'm gonna actually show him to you guys because he's absolutely precious. All right guys, so you are seeing my new little crested gecko here. He's very jumpy as you can see. So this little guy came from Emerald Scales, as I said, and he's about three years old, I would guess. He is a yellow patternless crested gecko. And I have decided not only do I love Lord of the Rings and wanted a Lord of the Rings based name for him because he lives up in the trees and everything, um, I decided to also play it kind of on his spine that I'll show you in just a moment and I decided to name him Smeagol. If you don't know who Smeagol is, it is the Gollum that is in Lord of the Rings who has a very distinct appearance and creepy looking. It's just, I don't know, I felt like it was a perfect name for this guy. So I don't know how well you can tell but he definitely has that little crooked hump there. Doesn't hinder him whatsoever. <laughs> Is he not the cutest thing on the earth? Now one thing about this guy, I really don't know if he was ever handled because I try to handle him all the time and he does fairly well as you can see. But just the act of being taken from his enclosure and just being around hands in the first place, he's not a big fan of it. Now like I said, I don't have a history of him. I don't know why his spine is crooked this way. There's multiple reasons why this could have happened. This kind of thing can happen with injuries to the egg or maybe injuries to the young gecko, but something this intense um, usually isn't caused by some sort of trauma. It's usually caused by just a lack of nutrition and actual development of the bones themselves. So this will be my third animal with a metabolic bone disease past. Doesn't hinder them in any kind of way, which doesn't mean that you should let it happen in the first place just because it will give them an okay life after that. I still think that it, you should prevent it as best as you can. But once it happens to them, they can still live a long, normal life after that point with just a little bit of extra TLC. You're the absolute coyote -est. So now you guys have seen my new little rescue, Smeagol. He's such a special little boy. He has such a massive place in my heart. I now cannot at all imagine my life without him. He's just such a joy. Smeagol lives in the Exoterra 18 by 18 by 24. For the substrate, I'm using Eco Earth here that I've flattened out, and then I have this tall plant there to the right. 
Here to the left I put this really large cork flat and then this front piece here is a piece of grape wood that goes all the way from the bottom to the top. It's so cool. He has this hanging coconut that I've just zip tied some plants to just to add a little bit more character. This is actually his favorite place in the entire enclosure. This centerpiece that you're seeing here is actually a piece of driftwood that we drilled some holes into to attach some magnets so that it hangs on the wall. And I love how much character it has. So it goes all the way to the left and all the way up to the right here as you can see. And he's got bottom level and then he's got a top level that goes to the left as well. And I have it secured with this random vine that goes from the ceiling to the actual driftwood just so it stays secure. There's his food ledge of course. Then I started adding these little pieces of foliage around with some suction cups. He's also got this adorable hammock that I have linked down below. And then of course this really large vine that goes all the way through the enclosure in as many tucked in places as I could possibly fit it. I love the coloration that this vine gives and it also gives him a whole lot of coverage. And finally over the substrate I just added a bunch of leaf litter and some moss to keep in humidity. On the doors here, this was unnecessary, but I thought it was cute. I just put some little leaves up there to give him more security. And there's his name tag, and there is his final enclosure. I love the way this looks, and so does he. Well, all right, guys, that's going to be it for my video today. Introducing you guys to my little crested gecko Smeagol that I rescued. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy this video, please give us a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button on your way out. I really appreciate it. Also, hit the notification bell so you can know when I upload next, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!